So honestly, I was expecting this movie to be a complete throwaway, trash even, but after walking out of the movie theater, I wanted to see it again. I enjoyed it that much. So Ready or Not is about Grace, a newly married girl who's married to Alex, who's part of this wealthy family who has a pretty insane tradition that involves the new family member going through a trial, a game. But it's all a cover up to sacrifice said new family member to the devil because of a deal that their ancestors made a while back. And if they don't kill the new family member, this time being Grace, they're gonna die by sunrise. Now this sounds like a serious horror movie, right? Well, kind of. Ready or Not rides a fine line between its humor and horror. Now this isn't scary horror. This Scares can be seen from a mile away, and at one point I didn't even flinch or even notice that they were trying to scare me. Where Ready or Not really shines is in those suspense moments. We've all played hide and seek, that moment when someone's near you and you don't know if they're going to catch you or not. In this movie, it works very well for them. They would add some layers on top of this by something that Grace is doing that she has to be really, really quiet, but if she doesn't do this certain thing, she's going to basically die from the person that's almost going to find her. And it creates that heart-pounding suspense that I love about this movie and other movies movies like it. Now, warning for people who are kind of squeamish with gore, this movie has a lot of gore in it and it has a lot of blood, especially the ending of this movie. So if you're squeamish, just be careful or maybe even bring a bucket. But the good thing about this is that it's not overbearing. Sometimes films can get a little bit too carried away with the gore, but I think throughout most of the movie anyways, that ending was pretty gory. They find a pretty good balance. And I think what also adds to this movie that made me enjoy it even more was the performance of the cast and the characters in it. I honestly liked these characters. One brother is a flawed drunk who tries to do the right thing. We have a crazy lady that's stuck in old traditions, a drug addict, and a lot more. It's a very colorful cast, and I really enjoyed each and every one of them whenever they had a role in the movie. Now, this movie did make me laugh, but not a lot. A lot of times, they'll try to make you laugh with some kind of joke that has to do with the kills or the fact that they accidentally killed someone, and sometimes, yes, it is funny, but sometimes it's not. But the one thing that was very cool to see was seeing Grace survive the night, having to fight off these people, and just seeing the tables turned. I mean, they even actually had a pretty cool twist for the husband Alex too. At the end, it was pretty funny and hilarious. Now, unfortunately, I'd have to say that the kills weren't really all too creative. They're pretty generic in your standard getting killed by a gun or a crossbow or a closing door. They're pretty generic. I honestly wish they had some creative, funny kills in this movie, but I think they kind of served their purpose. I don't think they were trying to be funny with the kills in this movie, but I kind of wish they tried to do that. I think the most thing that stands out was the performances and story. This story is about a family family who is essentially at this point a cult, struggling with this small little girl who they're constantly trying to kill. At first it was them hunting them, but eventually it kind of turns around and Grace starts hunting them. I think that's probably my favorite aspect of this movie, seeing her kind of evolve over the movie into some badass killer. I think overall this movie was enjoyable. Is it the best comedy horror movie? No, not really, but it's something new, it's something creative, and it shows that Hollywood is willing to try new things. The huge problem is that no one will probably see this. Honestly, the theater was actually empty when I saw Ready or Not. Even though it has a really good Rotten Tomato score and really good reviews from people on YouTube and just it's getting a lot of praise. Now, of course, there are people who don't like it, and if you don't like this movie tell me in the comment section below why you didn't like ready or not or maybe you did maybe you agree with me that it is a good movie tell me about that in the comment section below too and make sure you subscribe for more movie reviews i'll have one next week on probably thursday or friday and i'll have a video tomorrow on some kind of gaming news most likely we're going to be talking about mario sunshine on the switch thanks for watching my movie review of ready or not and have a good one